What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Today, we reacted to a fairly odd movie starring the one and only Drake Bell. I'm going to be real. Our goal watching this movie is to not make any Drake Bells in a classroom jokes because it's too easy, bruh. It's too easy. Honestly, everybody could have seen that from f this movie's plot is his real life. So we're not making any of those jokes today. We're not being predictable. Without further ado, let's get into it. There's no way this movie is good. This is a Nickelodeon original. Disney originals were the ghosts, bruh. Randy Jackson in this movie? Why isn't he starring? I don't want to hear Drake Bell and Little Angel in the same conversation. He's 23? Ah, oh, this movie is disgusting. Bro, you need to grow up. You're 23. Watch CNN. You don't need to be playing with fairies anymore, bro, and pirates. You gotta grow up, my guy. Godchild loses his fairies when he grows up. Not me. He leaves home. Not me. Or experiences life's true magic. Love. The only girl I've ever kissed was two. It was 13 years ago. It was forced upon me, and I did not enjoy it. Why do they always make Daniela Monet the ugly girl in the, in the movie, bruh? Or a show. Happy birthday, Timmy! Oh, these are the worst parents in cartoon history. They trying to get him out right away. He been in there for 23 years not doing nothing, bruh. Your mother and I just sold the house. We are finally going on our dream vacation around the world. I really wish you hadn't sold the house. Bro, and Timmy, you are a weirdo. Oh my God, this is a scene. Okay. I know I said I wouldn't make any jokes. This, okay, this isn't a joke. But bro, what was in the writer's head? How did they know this was going on? How did, did they, how is this movie so perfectly foreshadowing, ironic? One of those, one of those words I learned in English class in 11th grade. This is like the worst possible scene to be in for somebody that is, that has done what Drake Bell has done. That is crazy. Like how many actors have been in a scene like this? You know how unlucky you have to, Bro, I'm praying for these kids right now, bruh. How is it even possible, hmm? Oh boy, here we go. Crocker is the biggest hater in cartoon history, bruh. Very good parents! Bro be glitching, bruh. Well, I know you're remaining childlike in order to keep your fairies. <laughs> Bro, the way you be glitching. We'll catch them. And then fairies! it will be They'll be making the wishes around here! Bro, you have a class to teach. Who would rather play dodgeball? Yeah! <laughs> Don't play with these kids, Drake. There is nothing in this world I'd ever give you guys up for. Bro, why did they not portray her like this on Victorious, bro? Wait, he's always the villain. He's I don't I don't remember this movie at all, but that dude is always the villain in everything he's in. Never trust that face. Ever since Daddy slapped a shovel in my little hand, I have been looking. Pause. I decided to come here to Dumsdale and. You said Dumsdale? Get out of my city, bruh. Are you ready to tear down this park? Why would you build up a building in the middle of a community? around with Hugh J. Magnus. Hugh Janus? <laughs> I'm a child, bruh. Toddle off to your yurt or wherever home is. Did he just say go back to your country? No, cancel him. Anything, it's Tootie. <gasps> They're gonna commit murder? I wish the bulldozers would break down. They'll just sit there. Use chainsaws instead. Okay, come on now. Like this is this, this at first it wasn't blatant. This is blatant murder. Timmy Turner, you haven't changed a bit, not even a little. Yeah, that's a little disturbing, Timmy. Oh, you know, just traveling the world, making a difference. Adult stuff. <laughs> what have you been up to? Same stuff I was doing 12 years ago, like. Educated man. An educated man. No, he is in the fifth grade. Like, 
Is a love meter a bone meter? If you want answers, maybe tonight. Eat it. Are you talking to? Quiet, mother. Oh my. Using my voice to this man Crocker still lives with his mom, too. You can tell. They both losers. Timmy Crocker, both lock them both up. I thought you were crazy. Eh, creepy, not crazy. Both. I can't both. I, I guess there it's Timmy Turner becomes powerless. I wish the treaty level so that you, Hugh J. Magnet, build your oil gulping monstrosity of a hotel. Ooh. Do we have a deal? They got one bowl of noodles and they don't even know each other? Still, she's, she's so brave. So sure of her. Bro, really down bad for Tootie, bro. I would be too, you know what I'm saying? I was wondering if maybe you wanted to go down to the waterfront, watch the sailboats, grab a smoothie? Yeah, yeah, that sounds really neat. And it looks like it's magic between you and me. He is in fifth grade at 23. Why are you okay with this? Not really. You mean you're not having a great time with me? They're sabotaging. I wish that we could help rebuild the park around the Dimsdale Dogwood. We gotta do something to stop this quick! Oh my gosh! We're humans! Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. Did she just say oops? Seriously. <laughs> bro, why does she get violated in everything that she's in, bro? You're falling in love, Timmy. And if that happens, Three of us won't be together. There's one more wish I need you guys to grant. If you move the park. Look at your new park. You're the first one to see it. Oh, what? Yeah, look where he is, where the kids are coming. Like, that doesn't count as a joke. The love meter's higher than it's ever been. Oh, one kiss and we're toast. It's too early in the movie for that. <laughs> no way. You fell out of the tree so you wouldn't have to kiss me. Are you serious? I, I don't understand how I could love someone since third grade. Someone who rebuilds a park for me. Okay, Tony, what are you talking about right now? You loved him since the third grade. Get over it. Get over it. What are you, you have been away from him since the third grade. You're telling me you and your 23 year old mind without knowing how he looked was still in love with the third grade Timmy Turner. Like you didn't even have an Instagram or nothing because you were like, oh my God, is that Timmy? What is right? Like this whole, this, what? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ew. Big city. <laughs> Nobody is paying attention to this. Was betrayed by this little creature. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's disgusting. That might be the, the most disgusting thing this movie's produced, and Drake Bell was in a classroom for the children. You're right, Wanda. We have to do what's best for Timmy. Very... Yeah! I'll show that Timmy Turner that I now have possession of his. Dude is in trouble. Well, then I guess I wish he was right here back next to me. <laughs> He don't know how to function in society. No, you gotta actually work this time, buddy. Magnate doesn't just have Tootie. He's got... All will be revealed in my evil subterranean lair. <laughs> what is up with this guy? If you ever laugh like that, there, you shouldn't be a successful in this world. You should be under a, a jail. So you press the button and squeeze the magic from the fairies to you. I wish I had one of those great big ball picks. Daddy never let me play in. I wish it was bottomless. And I wish you fell in it, Crocker. Crocker, you're an idiot. This dude, you should have known by his laugh that he was untrustworthy. And do you see his face? Do you, do you think that's a man that anybody can trust, bro? How did he know where to go? This is the worst villain. Cast him with a laser. <laughs> I can't believe I'm rooting for Drake Bell in any scenario. Of course, this is based in a playground. Like, I'm sorry, these jokes are just way too easy, bro. Help, guys. Sorry, Timmy. This time, you're on your own. This guy don't even know how to fight without help. Timmy Turner, you're not, you're not a W. You're a L, bro. So cute when they're not trying to kill you. Why are you getting lines off? Can you help us? We're, we're about to die. <laughs> Look what their power gave me. He's Goku now? He, he can come out, man. 
I love you, Judy. That's all it took. He's saving us. W Timmy. W Timmy. I can't lie. It's amazing what you can do when you're grown up, huh? Why are you still rocking this fit? Jimmy Turner, you're in for a big surprise. Then, if he promises to make wishes only for others and not uh, for his own selfish purposes, he may keep his fairies. I don't care about any. What is this? A clan meeting? Why are those the? Why are those the costumes? Poof is trying to say something. Yo, man, it's gonna be so cool, man. We're gonna be bumping, man, trying to help the boys out. You know how we do it. You feel me, dog? <laughs> That's the Randy Jackson cameo. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, watch this video, me reacting to Turning Red Fire movie. I'm glad to see that Drake got out of grade school. Unfortunately, he still attracted everybody in there.